cool. So, uh, hey, I'm Max Schultz, Maxwell Schultz. Uh, I put out an EP, I don't know, a year ago, a little over a year ago, called Assignment. It's on Bandcamp under Robert Malice, which was like a stage name I was going for and then uh, I never actually kept up with. Uh, but the first song and several of my songs are from that. Um, and then some of my songs are not. But uh, Sabrina's song was very uplifting and like, all I can do is love and, and be happy. And, and try and, and, and persevere. And my songs are pretty much not that. And they're sad. <laughs> and, 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 and that's okay. Balance. What'd you say? Everything in balance. Everything in balance. Yeah, Amanda's going to be somewhere in between, I hope. Uh, <laughs> About, yeah. I'm sad, too. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, but this is called Advocate, so here, here we go. Sing me a song about bluebirds or blue jays or whatever you think that they are. Something sweet and some smooth, tell me something new, something I don't know about you. Something like, I need an advocate, I need a helping hand, I need a better friend. Tell me something new, something I don't know about you. Like hot dogs or franks, Azuria or Shearer, or something like, I need an advocate, I need a helping hand, I need a better friend. Who's your favorite local band? Are you a Muppets fan or do you find them creepy and wrong? When did you last buy a tape? Was it for the sweet escape and do you wish your answer was wrong? You asked what's worse than that? And I told you then, I said I'm sorry, but you said forget it all. Tell me something new, something I don't know about you, like you live my biggest fears or what your own still are. Or something like, I need an advocate, I need a helping hand, I need a better friend. Like sitting in your sister's kitchen beside a blue parrot at three, at four, at five, saying, Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Thanks. So a lot of my stuff is like anecdotal and stupid and silly, uh, like the song I'm about to play. And the song I'm playing next is called Rabbit Rabbit. It's one of the newer songs I've written. Uh, and I wrote it thinking that everyone knew what Rabbit Rabbit meant. You're nodding, so I'm guessing you do. But as it turns out, most people don't. <laughs> um, Rabbit Rabbit is like an old like tradition, wives tale type of thing, superstition where if you say rabbit rabbit as the very first thing you say at the first day of every month, you will have good luck for the rest of that month. Or at least that's how I understand it. Um, I don't follow it because I am not very superstitious and also because I forget every month. <laughs> and then it's like new and I'm like, damn, rabbit rabbit. But this is a song about somebody who does follow it out of like desperation and uh, it doesn't work and their life is, is, is not, not getting better. Like I said, I got a bunch of sad stuff. This is called Rabbit Rabbit. Stop. 
Thanks. Um, this is a song called Child of God. I wrote it almost exactly a year ago, I realized, because I, I date everything that I write. And um, this is a weird, abstract thing, but it's ultimately about um, like a fictional person with Huntington's disease whose parents don't realize that he has Huntington's disease, and he's going through the things that you go through when you have Huntington's disease. Uh, this is about a good friend of mine named Sam. Sam's fine, by the way. He has Huntington's, but he's, he's okay. The song would lead you to believe otherwise, but anyways. The devil killed our boy He started hearing the voices he was a child of God On a McDonald's wrapper It wasn't shocking to her The roommates saw it coming The manger was on fire From Christmas time The devil killed our boy He started to limp He was a child of God On a McDonald's wrapper couldn't wait for a trip to Maine what are you doing on his behalf the devil killed our boy his mind started to slip he was a child of God On a McDonald's wrapper The devil killed our boy His mind started to slip He was a child of God on a McDonald's wrapper I'm sober This is suicide Thanks After the next one I promise they get longer And, and the next one's the darkest one But after that it gets less dark uh, I went with shortest and darkest to, to the opposite of those things. So I said my last song was one of the darkest. This next one, I, I, I don't know. I don't know which one's darker. The last one was about someone killing themselves. This one's about dying in general. What <laughs> Anyways, uh, I put out an EP last year, I told you, called Assignment. And it was literally like four out of the five songs were a school assignment. And... Um, and this one was about write, write something about death, and so the name of the song is Death Exercise. And um, I prepared it just for this show because I've never done it live. And I, I was saying to the other performers, I think the only time I've ever played this from beginning to end was to record it. And uh, not since, like the other day was the first time I'd read the lyrics in like a year. So... Um, yeah, so this is death exercise. It's 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 basically what I think happens when you die. It's it's not religious at all. Still through your last murmurs, 
Rigor mortis takes charge Your body shrivels like The prune you picked last month And after life away That awaits you And only for you But this is for a moment Cause death comes around Every corner And waits for no Grand openness Maybe reincarnation, but most likely abyss, or perhaps that's just it. Paradise sits beyond. No, it isn't heaven, and it certainly isn't hell. And although previously theorized you want a rodent or something else into life. Yes, you are With everyone That ever was Until they die again And so on And so on And so on That is longer life More unanswerable questions More unanswerable answers Into the great beyond You will be back with those you left behind On earth But only briefly Because you have death to get to And so on And so on and so on. Thanks. If, uh, if, if, if you want something less miserable than my music, uh, I don't have any of that here, but I do have my comedy album for sale. It's, it's goofy and, and silly and not about dying primarily. Is there any dying? I have a joke about killing Hitler. I think that's the only death on here, and that's a death we can all get behind. And then I also have my book for sale here. Uh, they're both 10 bucks or t 15 for both. Uh, the book's also not about dying, although the book does get kind of sad, but whatever. Um, Sabrina did like her most recognizable song, and, and none of my songs is recognizable because I don't perform very often. But if you really pay attention to my music, this is maybe, other than Advocate, what I, which is what I opened with, this might be my most recognizable song. I don't know. Um, this is called At My Most Vulnerable, and it's, it's not super slow, and it's not super depressing, but it sounds like it would be. Anyways, uh, here's, here's that song. They say, oh my God, I'm so, so I'm so sorry. It wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back. But oh shit, man. Hey, how have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back. But I'll get checked. They say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back. But oh shit, man. Sorry I missed your call. Bet you wouldn't believe what I do now. I take care of kids in the fall. Who would have thought I'd like kids at all? They say, oh my god. I'm so sorry, it wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long, I'll call you back. But oh shit, man, sorry I can't talk long. But are you okay? I have no hard feelings, but I'm driving away. They say, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back. But oh shit, man. She said, fuck you. 
And wasn't it you who slept with somebody new? Don't tell anyone who they say, oh my God, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back, but oh shit, man. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It wasn't me, but I hope you're happy. How have you been? It's been too long. I'll call you back, but you've ruined my plans. Thanks. I'd tell you what it's about, but that'd be a spoiler for my stand-up. Uh, Alright, this is like my, I don't know, like standard breakup song. Even though it's not about a breakup I went through, like this is just like a thing I made up, a story I wrote, but it's called Exit Signs. Um... I have seen you laughing before the break of dawn. This is how it ends, crying on the floor as I walk away, shut the door. I have seen you naked before at the hour of your pain. Now I am here, you are not, and I'm to blame. Country feedback. I have seen you running past the exit signs. Goodbye or farewell, all I can say in a letter I'll never finish. I'll never see you smile again. I'll never see you blush again I'll never see you again Thanks the little one Thanks uh so this is easily my favorite song I've written but that's probably also because it's the newest um, but I've played it a lot lately, and I love it. If you guys know my EP, there's a song in there that I'm not playing today. I'm deliberately not playing, called On the Nose. And uh, this is kind of a response to On the Nose, um, but it's all about coming to terms with situations and and uh, just being real honest with things, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's kind of sad, but it makes me happy that I get to play it. So... Honey, baby, maybe Lying is what some truth tellers do But please believe me when I say that we are through Here's a link to the show I thought that you might like to go Man, oh man, you are my best friend I sure do hope to see you again And you know what I say when love goes away You hope that you find it a new home And love goes away You know what I say You hope that you find it a new home So 
tell me what you're thinking about And where's this ring I've heard about I'm kidding now, so don't you fret But soon enough, you'll be all set I know she looks like a good time And how, well please don't leave her this time around I know who you sing your songs to If this gets too much for you And you know what I say When love goes away you hope that you find it a new home And you know what I say When love goes away You hope that you find it a new home Now listen to me, miss We both know he made a list Of things to say when you're not around Like what he said to the whole fucking town but overall he's a good man who lies and cheats and steals again But no, I'm not mad anymore, I just hope I know what this was for And you know what I say when love goes away You hope that you find it a new home And you know what I say when love goes away you hope that you find it a new home He said so many men live in this city But I don't know just where that is I don't care to find out now You two made my friends often doubt I have said such horrible things All I ask is you let me be But if you can't or won't or are I miss you with all of my heart and you know what I say when love goes away You hope that you find it a new home And you know what I say when love goes away You hope that you find it a new home And you know what I say when love goes away you hope that you find it a new home When love goes away You hope that you find it a new home Thanks! It's called I Met Edward Hyde and if you get the reference, cool. If you don't, I'm a geek. Uh, this is a cover. This is... So, so I'll tell a stupid anecdote. Uh, which is mostly just for Amanda. But uh, Amanda and I met playing open mics at, at a bar in Nashua. And, and there's a bunch of reasons that, that doesn't happen anymore. But uh, my pr I think I've decided my favorite memory of that bar is, or of playing music at that bar, was there was a time where me and, and three other wonderful musicians uh, kind of scrambled together and covered this song and uh, I'm not really a huge fan of the band, but the song, like, because of that will always mean something to me. And, um, and yeah, so this is, um, although I'm not you really one to play their music, this is a Radiohead song. Nope, let me try that again. That's full up like a landfill A job that slowly kills you Bruises that won't heal You look so tired and dumb Bringing down the government They don't, they don't speak for us I'll take a quiet life, a handshake of carbon monoxide, no alarms, 
and no surprises no alarms and no surprises no alarms and no surprises silence silence this is my final fit my final belly ache with no alarms and no surprises no alarms and no surprises no alarms and no surprises please such a pretty house in such a pretty garden no alarms and no surprises no alarms and no surprises no alarms and no surprises please It's a, it's a bittersweet memory because a lot of the people involved when I did that the initial time I no longer am in contact with, uh, for again for various reasons except uh, really Alex Jaffrey who I love dearly, and um, I don't know that's a, just a very special song to me. Thanks so much.